All right, my friends, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what's going on for the rest of the year. So, guys, as you know, I am a I'm a pretty honest dude, and I and I find it easy to to like like just all kinds of stuff, man. I I've, I've always been that kind of person that's able to jump into a game and play it, and and really just kind of immerse myself in the atmosphere of the game maybe it's an open world game or something like that i've always kind of had an easy op or an, an easy an easy time getting into these games and if you guys haven't noticed youtube is a very toxic place and it, there's, there's just so much toxicity surrounding like new games um the, the way that games are being made nowadays and it's very overwhelming to say the least very overwhelming so as you guys know, I buy a lot of the stuff that I cover on this channel out of my own pocket. Every once in a while, I get some free stuff. I get some cool things to show you guys, uh, to, to bring more content. And I'm truly grateful for those opportunities. And, you know, 99.9% .9 of the time, like these companies are sending me products that are that are worth your time that are worth it. i i you i literally only cover the stuff that i think is is going to be relevant to you is going to be relevant to me i've had lots of offers of things that i've absolutely just turned down because i just i i, I don't you know think that they, they'd be a good fit for the channel so usually the things that i that i say okay i'll, I'll cover it i mean i'm always giving you guys the the honest information about this stuff at least to the best of my ability and you, you know i i i have no desire to mislead anybody when it comes to anything so you guys probably want to know about the title of this video yes i have decided to pick up playstation 5 pro um and that kind of just goes into what the what the rest of this year is going to look like for me there's a lot of controversial games coming out this year a lot of stuff i mean obviously awakening number nine comes out here in a couple of days there's there's just there's just so much stuff that's literally on the horizon of coming out and I've decided guys to just kind of forego all the triple A bangers for the rest of the year um, and if I do buy one and cover it like I'm really tempted to literally put that as a members only review um, not because I don't want people to watch the content just because the negativity I get when I buy these games and I cover them it's just not even worth it. I would much rather just cover that stuff for the people that actually want to watch that. And if I did that, I would make a new tier that's literally 99 cents that people, you know, you, they, they can they can pay the 99 cents and watch it. I'm not saying that I'm gonna do that. Um, I, I haven't even decided that. I mean, give me feedback in the comment section if that's something that you think is something that you guys wanna see because some of these games i do want to cover but at the same time like i am so tired of buying these games and then just having all the other youtubers out there just completely trash everything and then you know my 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 views for those go go way down and then i just you get a whole bunch of people coming here and telling me like oh, you don't know what you're talking about I, I don't care about any of that stuff. I don't care about the super woke people. I don't care about the non-woke people. I just don't care. I like playing video games and I want to play video games. But that stuff literally starts to take a toll on your mental health. It, it really does. Because here you are on one side, investing your hard-earned money into buying stuff, equipment, games, all of that stuff so that you can show that off. And then you know, not being able to, you know, build the community around that kind of stuff or not being able to show it off just due to the overwhelming amount of toxic toxicity on YouTube. It, it starts to like, it starts to like really mess with your mind. You're like, okay, well, I feel like my content good. My content's good. Why isn't anybody watching it? And the way the algorithm works on YouTube is the people with the most views are going to get the most, or they're, they're, they're just going to keep sending people to those videos and they're going to keep, they, they keep burying my videos. Like you have to scroll a couple, three pages to even start getting to my content on some of that. So by the time I actually get views, people have already been ran through with all the negativity. And then they come to my freaking thing and they're like, oh, you like this game? You must be terrible, blah, blah, blah. I, I hate that feedback. I absolutely hate that feedback. I do not go into these games with some sort of 
predestined type of, you know, like, oh, I'm just going to trash this game. Most of the people that are reviewing this crap aren't even playing these games and they're just feeding the negativity. And by the time people get to my content, guys, it's so overwhelmingly negative in the comments section sometimes that I just, I, I would just as soon forgo that stuff and put out content for stuff that I, that, that they, the, the wokies can't come for, man. And the, and the non-wokes, like racing is pretty pure sport. You know what I mean? I, I mean, I guess it's possible to, I mean, they go after freaking, um, uh, the crew motor fest. So it is what it is. Yes. There's, there's obviously ways they could sneak it in there, but less likely, definitely less likely. As you guys have seen behind me, I've invested and I have been provided multiple different wheel setups currently you know from thrustmaster i won that logitech um i just bought the thrustmaster tgt2 i have a fanatec dd pro so guys i started this channel my first video was a sim racing video it was freaking wrc9 man it's not that i'm changing anything and it, that's the kind of ironic thing is like I, I get i got spread so thin throughout the you know the last four years building this channel that that i cover everything so i want to cover the tech i'm going to cover the tech i'm going to give you guys my amd videos my my freaking my, my nvidia videos those are the ones that literally you know bring in a whole lot of you know the views and stuff so i can keep the views up but i'm going to cover sim racing like i've never covered sim racing before I'm gonna do VR videos, and that's the big reason why I'm buying PlayStation 5 Pro. PS5 Pro is guaranteed to enhance my overall PSVR 2 experience for Gran Turismo 7. I'm not even joking, guys. Now that I bought the TGT2, this wheel is absolutely phenomenal for Gran Turismo 7. It feels so damn good, and it's got a built-in butt kicker for my freaking setup. The, GT, the GT7 fully takes advantage of absolutely man like i've sat there i i was I, i'm not even joking man I, I i did like almost 300 miles on gran turismo 7 yesterday because it just felt so damn phenomenal that i just wanted to play it and i played a lot of it and i was super excited and super happy and that there's literally the point that, that i was like get a ps5 pro get the clicks for the pro obviously we'll get the clicksies cover freaking gran turismo 7 one of the one of the best racing games like ever made like literally the thing that got me into sim racing in the first point gran turismo i, I guys i struggled hardcore with that force feedback this thrustmaster man trusty thrusty brought it all back to me this 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 will the tgt2 is literally built for gran turismo so if you're wondering like if you're on gran turismo my friends and you're and you're on like a fanatec or you're on something else and you just can't seem to fill or nail down those settings to, to get it to fill right that it's built for a freaking belt driving wheel now if you ask me right now hey frog do you think i should get the tgt2 or should i get the new 52t598 from thrustmaster this is the past the tgt2 is the past if you buy this buy it as a vintage type deal because you want that that feeling all games going forward are going to be designed around force feedback that is built for direct drive wheels if you played if you played a set of course of competizione on the tgt2 and gran turismo you're gonna see that like gran turismo feels significantly better on the tgt2 whereas the the assetto corsa competizione is good enough like it's it's good like it is good but it feels significantly better on my fanatec dd pro that's the only thing that kind of has me like oh i want to recommend the tgt2 very very bad because it really does do a very good job on everything i've played on it so far but direct drive is the future all new games are going to be designed around the force feedback for these direct drive wheels the dd plus has new 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 features and new uh new haptic feedback in that wheelbase logitech g pro, g pro has the has the true force and now thrustmaster is going to have harmony they're coming out with more detailed hyper feedback in these wheelbases that is truly going to be revolutionary when it comes to like tactile feeling and all of that kind of stuff so yeah that stuff is important and definitely where where i think you want to be um this this to me guys is vintage i i love it I've, it feels incredible on gt7 
Um, we'll find out how the T598 feels as soon as I as soon as I get my patty cakes on that. Like I said, Thrustmaster said they're going to send me one out um, early November, possibly as late as December. I'm not one of the big guys out there that cover stuff. I don't get that that first rate treatment as a content creator. So it, you'll just have to wait for that because I'm putting that money that I would buy that into the PlayStation 5 Pro. I already bought the TGT too. I'm very happy with that. I'm very excited with that. Um, <clears throat> So, so, so yeah, like con content's going to go on and it's going to be good. Like I'm going to be able to focus more on some of this stuff without having to worry about that, without, with, without having to worry about all the AAA bangers and all the, the negativity. Awaken number nine, girl boss, obviously is going to get crapped on. Dragon Age, <laughs> I wanted, I've been waiting 10 years to play that game. They're going to freaking destroy it. They're going to pick it apart and tear it apart no matter what. If, if I play, I'm going to play that one, guys. I'm just going to use EA Play Pro on PC. I'm going to download it. I'm going to play a little bit of it. Um, like I said, guys, like I've really, I've really, that's probably the one thing in the channel that I have struggled with the most is reviewing games. I'm way too nice. I'm way too freaking lenient when it comes to this stuff. And you guys are so damn serious. It's video games. You guys are so serious sometimes and so so unpleasable when it comes to games that, that I that I literally sit here and think I'm like I just played through that game I enjoyed it I had a good time I was it was fun it kept me engaged and fully immersed and then I'll put out the review and then I get like dude that game sucks that's trash why do you like bad games and I'm like are, are you kidding me man do you guys even play the game did you even try it is, is it really that bad to you and and then I think okay I get it it's not even it's not that it's a bad game most of these guys haven't even played it they just want some to hate for the clicks and that's fine like i'm not getting dude i don't think i can ever get into that mindset to sink into that mindset would mean my soul is literally dead bro like i couldn't do it like i i cannot do it with a straight face i mean look at i mean think about it all the all the toxic stuff that i've ever done on this channel throughout its history has literally been pg bro i i i, I it's easy to like bag on like playstation because of their pricing or nvidia but i mean it's like you guys know it's just a joke you guys know that people are gonna buy playstation you know they're gonna buy nvidia no matter what amd and xbox do like it, it doesn't matter like <laughs> but it's fun i love amd i think it's incredible i love xbox i love the spirit of xbox and what xbox is doing you know trying to bring gaming to a wider audience at a at a reasonable cost why playstation is like no man we're just selling you this ps5 pro for 700 dollars and 70 dollars for our AAA bangers it is what it is playstation makes quality content and playstation has the number one selling console okay whatever it is what it is most people get mad at that and they're like oh man we need to fight back and it's like nobody fights back nobody uses their wallet they just keep continuing to pay the playstation tax like i'm gonna do i'm gonna pay my playstation tax i've already i've already paid my my, my psvr2 tax i've already paid my my uh my dual sense edge tax might as well just go all out and pro this will probably be my last console generation so at the end of the day it doesn't really matter i will have the best playstation available to play my library of PlayStation games that I've already invested in. I've invested a lot of money in the PlayStation ecosystem this generation, so I, I might as well go out with the best, the top of the line that PlayStation has to offer. Um, that's my reasoning, seriously. I mean, that might sound stupid to some people, but I will get to play and enjoy my library on the PlayStation 5 Pro. It comes with a two terabyte hard drive. The company's actually sending me a two terabyte hard drive to actually put into it. So man, I'll have four terabytes of hard drive space for a PS5 Pro. Um, I get to review that for you guys here soon. I, I don't know when it's gonna be here, but yeah, it's a two terabyte PS5 ready uh, hard drive that or SSD that somebody's sending out to me. So um, I'll be able to review that and tell you, if, tell you if it's worth it or not. I don't really care if it's worth it or not. It, as long as it works, at the end of the day, that'll be that'll be good enough for me. You know, I'm, I mean, it is pretty, it is pretty fairly priced. It's like 98 bucks over on Amazon. So it's not. So I mean, as long as it works, I think it, it'll probably be all right. But at the, at the end of the day, man, we'll we'll check it out. We'll see how it works. I'll do like the video. I'll show you guys. You know, I'll be recording when I when I put it in and when I when I turn it on and we see what the PlayStation Five is going to read it at. Like we'll we'll see all that. We'll just do an honest review and then you decide if you want it or not. I'll link it in the description, and and it is what it is. I did my part. Like 
I'm, I'm not here to hate on products. I'm just here to show you and be honest with you. So that's basically the gist of it. Obviously, you know, next generation when the GPUs come out, um, obviously I'll buy the AMD GPU. I've, I've pretty much, it's not like I've made my bed with AMD. It's just, I like AMD and what they're doing. And I'm curious to see, um, especially after trying out the PS5 Pro PSSR, I'm curious to see how AMD is gonna handle FSR 4 for the future of, of gaming graphics from AMD. I personally believe AMD is the GPU for gamers. That's that's just how I feel about it. So that's basically what I'm doing, guys. I'm gonna cover the sim race and stuff. I just bought F1 2024. I got American Truck, Truck Simulator. I, I got some stuff planned for this. I'm just gonna try to have some fun and uh, put out some content that is freaking awesome for you. So if you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one.